Just like when filming in real life, knowing how to use cameras is essential. There are two types of camera, basic and smart. Each set has default basic cameras already set up for you, usually around 10 of them. So when you've just created a new project, you already have plenty to choose from. You can display all of those cameras by clicking on the first button to the left here. Simply click on any of the thumbnails to use it in the 3D view. Note that if you want to make the 3D view bigger, you can click on the gray bar here and slide it down, even all the way down if you want to. Also, notice the darker areas on each side of the 3D view. These sections will not be part of the final movie when you'll export the video. To show the smart cameras, click here. Instead of having a fixed position in relation to the set, smart cameras have their position set in relation to a character or a pair of characters. We will cover in details how to work with both basic and smart cameras in a separate tutorial. For now, let's see how we can use those cameras in your scene. By default, whichever camera you have in the 3D view is used for your movie. Let's take a look. Hello Gabby. Hi Kate. Did you have time to work on the planning policy? It's getting quite urgent. Yes. Almost completed. I'll send it your way later today. Kinda boring, don't you think? We can add a bit of life to the scene by switching between cameras. The easiest way is to let the automatic cinematographer work its magic. To enable it, click on the Location button, then click Enable Automatic Cinematography. Let's watch the result. Hello Gabby. Hi Kate. Did you have time to work on the planning policy? It's getting quite urgent. Yes. Almost completed. I'll send it your way later today. Not bad. But what if you want to control when to switch to a specific camera? Easy. First. Uncheck the automatic cinematography, then drag and drop the camera icon into your text. You can also click in the text first and then click on the icon. Or drag and drop a camera directly to the text. To specify which camera is used on each of the events, click on the events icon. You will see the settings of the event here on the right. Click on the thumbnail and pick one of the cameras. Note that you can switch camera multiple times within a single text block. and move the camera events around after they've been added. Let's watch our movie again to see what we've done. Hello Gabby. Hi Kate. Did you have time to work on the planning policy? It's getting quite urgent. Yes. Almost completed. I'll send it your way later today. Even better. Have fun with cameras and make sure to watch the other tutorials to learn even more about them.